Today we're going to be reacting to this video by Abbott and Preach about this conversation that happened between a teacher and a nine-year-old student in regards to genders. And uh, this video was recommended to me by one of the subscribers on Instagram, so shout out to Mila. Let's get straight into the video. Classroom, a disagreement breaks out between the student and the teacher. Someone. Saying things like should be in an asylum. Why are they saying that? I just think if they, if they want to identify as a cow or something, then they're like genuinely unwell. Then they've got to be yeah, crazy. crazy. You were questioning their identity. No, I wasn't the question. I was just saying about the gender. I haven't said anything about them. But where did you get this idea from there's only two genders? I was just saying my opinion. That is my opinion. It's not an opinion. What the fuck did you say to me? That is literally an opinion. What the f did you say to me? She said it's not an opinion, fam. <laughs> Notice how she's trying to force her opinion on her as fact, but won't even consider to listen or try to understand her for hers. Hey, listen, bro. There's a student that identifies as a cat, and the other student says, "Hey, bro, you are unwell. You, 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 you crazy." And the teacher is mad at them for saying they're crazy. On the last, it's like on the We're at the point where teachers are defending identifying as a cat. There's only a boy and a girl yesterday. There's no other private part. There's only two. Gender is not linked to do with the not linked to the parts that you were born with. Gender is about how you identify, which is what I said right from the very beginning. Yeah, I just don't agree with that. So why should I have to listen? Biological. I think the teacher understand, man, that a cat is not a gender. That's not a human. Like, that's not what the girl was talking about initially. Like, I don't know how she ended up there. Man, your first day of school, man, you all there sitting in a class, you know, class of 30. You feel me? You, the, the teacher's making attendance. She going down the list. She's like, Michael, present. Stacy, present. Jonathan, present. Um, meow? It's meow! <laughs> Imagine that, yo. And we're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Where's the cat? Cat is not a gender. Hey, listen. A cat! A cat! Meow, meow. Meow is not part of a gender. But it is part of the agenda. Because she can be born intersex. She can be born with male and female body parts or hormones. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, there's three. There's not three under. Doesn't mean. That there's three. I'm talking about like biological sex. In terms of gender, there are lots of genders. There is transgender, there is a gender. People yeah, that don't believe they have a gender at all. Yeah, but you can't have that. Yeah. No, you can't have, have that. It's not a law. Yeah, no, it's, it's not a law. It's all opinion. We just don't agree with it. We just think it's all just. If you have a giant you're a girl, you have a penis or one. Yeah. I don't know what class this is, but the math is mathing, man. I hope that another math teacher right there, because you're gonna have to find another another subject to teach, man, because this girl is taking her back to school. But cisgender is not necessarily the way to be. Is you were talking about the fact that cisgender is the, the norm, that you identify with the gender that with the sexual organ that you're born with yeah. or you're with. That's yeah. basically what you're saying. Yeah. Which is really despicable. How? When it's if I called my mum right now, my mum would be sad. If I called my mum, she'd be sad. Well, that's very sad as well then. How is it? Those people agree with that. There's only a small majority of people who actually think that. And why do you think we have so many problems in the world with homophobia? What the fuck did you say? I'm so sick of these leaks with this uh, Uganda homophobia. It's like, oh my God. That's one little thing that has nothing to do with the fact that how yo, is if you add it, you, you, yo, yo, yo. Notice how the whole conversation started because a girl said she was a cat and the other girl said, no, you're not. Like, you're human. Like, what are you talking about, right? Now, it went into gender. Now, it landed in homophobia. Before you know it, transphobia. And by the end of the conversation, she's probably like, you're a racist. <laughs> you're a white supremacist. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Solving homophobia is not going to go through with thinking someone is a cat. <laughs> That's not how you're going to solve it. That's just not how you're going to solve it. Accepting that someone says they, they, they're a cat, and you're going to be like, mm, they're a cat. Homophobia is solved. That's not how you're going to do it. Yeah, babe. That's not how you're going to do it. 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 That's not how you're going to no man. No man. No man. No man. Now you are you're not, not. You see the way they move the goalposts. If you yeah. don't accept all this transgender, uh, or gender affirming stuff, I identify as a cat. You're also the kind of person who leans into homophobia, bro. And you're saying that people can't change. No, they can't. They, they can't. 
They can't. Unless you get a penis attached. No, I'm not. You're confusing sex and gender. No, I'm not, though. Because if you have a vagina, you're a girl. And you're confusing gender and sexual orientation. What's your fucking point? Don't act like you're the authority figure on this. You might be their teacher, but don't mean this your lane. Just because you teach me algebra ain't to mean that you're going to also be teaching me physics. Ain't mean you won't teach me marine biology or anything like that. Mm -mm. Some of these teachers think they can learn and teach about everything. And you're not fit to teach this topic, apparently. You can't be, you can't have a vagina being a girl. Even then, because you've got those genes. How you identity. How you identify. Yeah, but it's not an opinion. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And if you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. So I did go to a different school. You need to have a proper educational conversation. You snitching now? You snitching because you don't like what you're hearing? People, kids are no longer receiving education in the public school system. They are receiving indoctrination. She's trying to force her to believe her opinion. She's talking about it like it's a fact, a well-known fact, a respected fact worldwide. That's crazy. And just because the kid didn't agree, she, oh, you're gonna get kicked out. You gotta go to another school or something. You know, we're not doing that over here. Edu about equality, diversity, and inclusion. Oh, I'm I'm because I'm not that having that expressed in my lesson. Whatever I say is the fact. You have to sit there, be quiet, listen. I know best, you don't. Whatever you think is wrong, whatever I say is right. That's the world that we're living in today with these people. In the meantime, in the meantime, the kid that said I was a cat is in the corner like, meow. <laughs> diversity, inclusion, and what? Equality, diversity, diversity, inclusion. Always remember, it's not diversity of thought. No. It's diversity of appearance. Mm -hmm. Teaching you about, you can be who you want to be. When I was in school, they used to tell me I can be whatever I wanted to be, but they was talking about, astronauts i could be a doctor a lawyer an athlete whatever i set my mind to i could be nowadays they telling these kids you could be a kitty cat yeah how you identify is up to so you I don't know things, they just don't say it because then all yeah. this happens maybe because they're polite and maybe they're sensitive i've never i haven't said anything in all of the lessons I, i've been in it's just because they turn around and start saying something so i say how can you identify as a cat when you're a girl well, yeah. well they're now writing a statement i, I would imagine oh. that you'll be asked to write a statement as well we will. We will. Get ready for the future, people, man, because things are about to get really ugly with the next generation. It's insane. I can't believe this, this grown woman, and sh she's losing an argument to an IO with no life experience. Think about that for a second. You know how flawed your belief system has to be that a nine-year-old could pick it apart with basic common sense and no real life experience to base it on? She's nine. She hasn't lived yet. She hasn't lived long enough to even be able to have an argument with a teacher. I don't know, man. I'm giving the W to the kid, man. She held her ground. She's like, nope, you have your opinion. I have my opinion. I'm telling you what I feel. I'm not believing yours. You don't have to believe mine. But you're not going to tell me that I got to believe yours. Shout out to the little girl.